Hey, welcome back to my daily vlog. Uh, so today I, I kind of have a weird problem which is we started, like I'm working on this design system called Cosmos and it used to be called Auth0-Cosmos uh, but now we've got our private NPM going on so now it's called NPM-Cosmos. So it's still open source but just that it's not like it's scoped. The problem here is we have to ask everyone to make this change in their repo in every file that they're using Cosmos. That's kind of like a really big ask. So today we're going to write a code mod. If you're new to these videos, I'm Siddharth. I make these videos every day. I try to teach something that I've learned today. So you should probably subscribe. Today we're going to write a code mod. A code mod is basically a thing which lets you transform all of your code by running a script. That, that's, the, uh, that's the short version of it. How code mods usually work is uh, you need something that runs them. So Facebook created a tool called JS Code Shift. I'm going to save it as a dev dependency. And what this lets you do is write a transform and run. So we're going to write a transform code. Transform. Now this is where we're going to write it. And you can run them by adding a script, say code mod, it's going to run JS code shift. You mentioned the transform, which is going to be transform.js, and I'm going to run it all over my source folder. Alright. Now now what do I write in the transform? So the interesting part with JS code shift is that you don't really have to know how compilers or parsers work. I'm using this tool AST Explorer where I can paste my code and it will give me the syntax tree of it. So this kind of looks scary but the key things to notice here are the whole thing is a file, it has a program in it and this is the body which is an array and it has two statements. First is an import declaration and the second is my variable declaration. So uh, it also lets you create transform. So you switch on transform with JS code shift and you see here it's created a transform for us which does something weird. We're going to replace that with something that we want. So how this transform works is you get the file and you get the API which is the code shift API. So you can parse the whole source of the file and it gives you the source tree. Now what we're interested in is only the import declaration. So we can filter that out. Uh, import declarations are of type import declarations. Type is usually what we're looking for. So I can say just find import declarations from this array which is the body and then I get this path. Now, just to see what's inside this, I'm going to say console log paths dot value, and that's the best way to debug, of course. So, this this is what is inside the value. So you see a bunch of scary things, but it kind of matches the same syntax tree that we have there. So we're on the right path. Now, what we want to do is inside this import declaration, we want to change the source. The fun thing is it highlights where you are. So source is what we're looking for. So we go inside source and this is the value, this is the thing we want to change. So I'm just going to write a condition here that says path.value.source.value. If this is equal to auth0-cosmos, then change it to the other one which is at auth0-cosmos. Right. And you see it actually shows you the preview, this is the source, this is my transform, so it does transform it. Now I'm just going to copy this and paste it in my transform.js, the same file we're running with JS code, shift. And now keep your eye on this, when I run this command npm run code mod, it's going to run, it says sending one file, one ok, so it Work. And yeah, see, it actually changed this. So this is super cool. Now I can just give the script and ask people to run this command on, on this on their code base, and it's going to change it for them, which is super super cool. 
let me complicate things a little bit. Say you've made a breaking change. Uh, you used to have button, but now you don't call them buttons anymore. You call them clicky. So again, it, it's something that they will have to change through their entire code base. So I'm going to go back to my source explorer. I'm going to try to find this and this, right? So the fun part is I can actually click this and it will tell me exactly what this is. So it seems this is a type identifier and this is of a type JX, I, JSX identifier. Good, so let's start with identifier. So again, we get the whole source, this which is an array, so we try to find identifier in this. Let's delete this code. And of course, console.path.value to see what do we actually get here. So you see we get a bunch of them. This is the button. Um, this is also a button. So turns out JSX identifiers are also a type of identifier. So we get both of them, which is perfect. What we need to catch on is this name value. Great. So I'm going to write the same if condition. If part.value name is a button, then change it to path.value. Uh, clicky, right? We want to call this clicky, and you see it actually changed. It. So I'm gonna copy this, put it in my transform file, and again I'm gonna run the same command and keep an eye on this. It's running one file done, and yes, it actually works. It's import clicky, and it also changed this, right? So of course this is like a simple example. There are a bunch of edge cases that you run into. But it's just to show that you don't need to have knowledge of compilers or parsers to create code mods, which I think is like super powerful.